Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video is going to be my, I guess, what I plan to read video um, for the month. I'm just going to run through the things that I read in April and then talk about the things that I plan to read for the month of May. I normally do this where I'm going to, like, I normally tell you guys what I'm studying for the month and what I studied last month. I'm really not going to be able to study quite a lot because I'm focused on um, these minister classes that I'm taking. So, yes, I do have an update on that coming real soon for you guys. And like I said, I'm going to mention what I'm being elevated as. I did talk about it briefly. If you guys want to constantly stay up to date, I would say definitely check out my Instagram because I post a lot more of the things that I'm doing on Instagram. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about the books that I read. So I read a total of three. Yeah, I read a total of three books. Um... That were like Christian related. I obviously read more than that. But I read like specifically um, Christian related books. So actually four. I'll take that back four. <laughs> so um, we have The Heart of a King by Jill Eileen Smith. I actually just posted a spoiler free review as well as a reading blog for this. This book was so beautiful. It's biblical fiction about King Solomon and four of his wives. I enjoy this. Gave this four stars. I loved it. Tabbed it up so much. It is a compilation of her four novellas, but it's also still a new type of story. So I definitely would re recommend you guys to check it out. You can click the eye on the screen if you want to watch either my reading blog on it, which has a lot of spoilers. So I'm telling you guys exactly like what's going on in the story. Or if you want to see the spoiler free review, you can click the eye on the screen as well. But this is the first book that I read. The next book that I read is The Robe by Lloyd T. Douglas, and I gave this five stars. This is beautiful. It is biblical fiction, and this is centered around the crucifixion of Christ, and it follows the life of a Roman soldier named Marcellus, as well as his Greek slave named Demetrius, and their kind of walk into faith, if that makes sense, after winning the robe. And I don't know if you guys remember in the scripture, um when they talked about how the soldiers kind of cast lots for Jesus's garment. This is basically that time when they were casting lots and Marcellus won the robe. And the robe had such a powerful effect on him because a lot of people... First of all, Marcellus didn't even want to get involved with the whole crucifixion. He knew that Jesus was innocent, but he also had to follow orders. And I'm going to do a whole video review because my written review I wrote, which you can click down below to check that out, it's a little all over the place. Like, I highly suggest you guys to check this out. I know there's a movie to this. I'm probably going to watch the movie tonight. I haven't even watched it yet. But th this book looks at faith from the perspective of a Roman soldier and a Greek slave. It does not look at faith from the perspective of a Hebrew or one of God's chosen people. And I like that. A lot of the biblical fiction that I read, um, I read it from the perspective of a Hebrew or Israelite or someone who is appointed by God. I never really read something that was outside of that kind of group. So this was really, really amazing. It was awesome just to see the whole kind of um, him walking, him riding in on a donkey and the crucifixion and the resurrection just from this perspective of um, these two different people. I thought it was so amazing, beautiful, written amazingly. Um, I, I loved it to pieces. I gave it five stars. This is one of my favorite reads from the month of April, hands down. The next book that I sort of reread, well, these last two books I reread, um, this one is The Brave Art of Motherhood, and I reread this because I was a part of a blog tour, well, another blog tour, um, and then I'm also a part of an Instagram tour as well. So I will be posting pictures of this on my Instagram, and I did have to reread this and rewrite a new review, but love this, five stars. I think it's amazing, um, and the time that I read it back last year was perfect for me because I was in a sort of state where I didn't understand um how can I say it it, it it just came at the right time with me and my thoughts on being a mother so this came at a right the right time it's very personal but it also makes makes it feel real um and there are biblical like scriptures in here so I thought it was great um highly recommended I, I I can't really talk about it correctly so I'll leave links down below to my review for you guys to check out because it's hard for me to actually talk about it um, it's one of those books that you just have to read my review, so it'll be linked down below, but I reread this book. The last book was a reread for me, and I reread this because the sequel came out, and my, my copy of the sequel is coming, and I'm actually going to be giving away a copy of this, hopefully if things work out. Um, but it is Mark of the Raven by Morgan L. Bussey, and this is Christian fantasy. This would be categorized as new adult. Um, I 
I loved it five stars it this book is phenomenal it is fantasy I love fantasy there's a magic system but the magic system is very different it follows Lady Celine um, who has the ability to dreamwalk I think it is yes dreamwalk and um, her mother's very much evil like she's evil she's twisted evil her father uh, what was his name? Kai I don't think his her father's name was Caiaphas. Was it Caiaphas? I can't remember her father's name right now. If I remember in the in in the midst of me editing, it'll be on the screen. But her father is very much a kind man. Um, he is very much secretive, and he's trying, I guess, in a sense, to reveal the secrets of her mother. But because he's married to her mother. He can't because I guess when you're married, there's like a bond between the husband and wife where they can't tell each other secrets to anyone outside of their like marriage, which I totally think that's cool. But um, yeah, and then we are introduced to Grand Lord Damien, who has the, I guess he has powers over water. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I loved him. Um, and they're both put into a situation and the ending was just everything to, and I, I, I can't talk about this without gushing and spoiling it so i'm going to leave my written review down below it's another one of those books where i can't talk about it without spoiling it and i don't like to spoil things for people because i know for me i don't like people spoiling books and movies so yeah i believe i did talk about this book previously so so if i have a review up like a video review i will link it in the i card like the i the cards sorry <laughs> i will link it in the cards above but um yeah so those were the four books and now I'm going to show you guys the three books that I will be reading for the month of May and I'm probably going to add more books because I have other books obviously that I have to read but these are going to be the ones that I read and before I do let me take a sip of my coffee and I'm drinking lavender coffee or yeah lavender vanilla coffee pretty much it's so good I use lavender syrup as well as French vanilla syrup with a little bit of French vanilla creamer. So delicious, you guys. But um, the first book that I'm going to be reading is actually the Daughter of Increase Book Club book pick. And that is going to be Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshaw. Now this for me is a reread. Um, just it's, it's a reread. I loved it. I read the ebook version of this and then I loved it so much that I bought a physical copy. Now I did start... A while ago reading the first chapter literally i just read chapter one i don't even yeah i only got to chapter through chapter one um but we are reading three chapters a week this is going to be for the month of may and june this week um we have to read chapters one through three and then we discuss it every saturday and on thursdays i also post up discussion questions to get us going and talking about the book if you do want to join that i'll leave a link down below to where you can join the facebook group but um yeah this is the book and this is basically biblical fiction centered around rahab and the story of joshua i'm sorry in the book of um joshua and i loved it this is emotional this is heart gripping heart gripping heart wrenching um it will have you on the edge of your seat it is just be beautifully written and it really makes you think about your own life and um family dynamics i just i love this all together so i'm excited to be diving back into this world into this book and just reliving my favorite moments but now with a physical copy i might have tear stains all over this book because i love it so much so pearl in the sand will be the first book that i read like out of, of all of these all of these okay so the next two books are from c.s lewis and i got these from the publishers and i probably should have reviewed these like months ago but i'm just now getting a chance to actually sit down and read the last two books they sent me three books the first one was how to pray i read that one i think i gave it four stars um it was pretty good the one that i'm going to be reading this month is how to be a christian by c.s lewis and this is basically reflections and essays they basically take um bits and pieces of different articles and bits of like books that he's written and compiled it into this one book on how to be a christian it's pretty much how they did the one for how to pray um, so yeah, I'm interested and excited to get into this one. And the next one and last book that I have that I'm going to be reading for the month of May is the Screwtape Letters. And this is the actual cover here. But when I contacted the company, I asked them for the box set, which the box set has about eight books. They didn't have the box set in stock. Um, I think that's like an Amazon thing. I would have to purchase it. I'm probably still going to purchase it on Amazon because I want the individual covers. But um, they ended up sending me the um, bind up. So it's the Signature Classics bind up. It's the same thing as the Signature Classic box set. But um, it's just all in one book. <laughs> so this is a massive book. Um, but it has eight of the books in here. So you have Mere Christianity, The Screwtape Letters, Miracles, 
the great divorce the problem of pain a grief observed the abolition of men and the four loves and here are the covers these are all four i mean all four these are all eight of the books that i really really wanted to read from c.s lewis so i'll be tackling the screw tape letters this month and i'm actually going to be reading this with a few people from my church one of the um one of the uh elders that i know is doing a book club and this is one of the books that she is going to start with which is the screw tape letters and this is a book that i've been dying to read for years so i figured why not since i have the bind up and i actually do need to start like getting these reviews back to these companies um so yeah and i'm actually going to read the synopsis of it because it's kind of hard to explain and it sounds crazy but um it says the story takes the form of a series of letters from a senior demon named screw tape to his nephew a junior tempter named wormwood so as to advise him on methods of securing the damnation of a british man known only as the patient screw tape holds an administrative post in the bureaucracy or lower arc lower archy of hell and acts as a mentor to wormwood an inexperienced tempter in the body of 31 letters which make up the book screw tape gives wormwood detailed advice on various methods of undermining faith and, prom and prompting sin in the patient interspersed with observations on human nature and christian doctrine wormwood and screw tape live in a morally reversed world where individual benefit and greed are seen as the greatest good and neither demon is capable of comprehending or acknowledging true human virtue when he sees it so basically it's giving you kind of like an inside look on conversations between a higher demon and a lower demon on how to make a person sin and basically get them to go to hell and it sounds crazy i know but it's really interesting i did read a bit of this like a few snippets when i read the how to pray because it talked about prayer and how, how to stop a man from praying and um it really gave me a lot of insight on when i feel like i don't want to pray what the enemy is really doing so i'm really really intrigued in this book and i cannot wait to dive into it and just learn so much about um how the enemy works because you know a lot of us claim that we know how the enemy works but there are certain things that he does where we'll brush it off as saying like that's you know that's just nature but it's not really nature it's something that the enemy is doing so i'm really intrigued and i'm excited to actually dive into this especially with a group of people from my church um so yes those are the three books that i'm going to be read for this month um as far as studying goes i don't really know um because i have chapel coming up so i have to actually work on a sermon like a five minute sermon that and then i have to like actually give that five minute sermon for chapel and then i also have like the minister classes as well so i'm not pretty sure what i'm gonna study i'm probably just gonna dive back into psalms for now um I'm still in the middle of Joshua and Mark. I, like I said, I paused on Mark, but I'm still like studying Mark. And then I have Joshua, which I've gotten through chapters one through three. So I'm on Joshua four and Mark three. Um, Psalms, I think I'm on Psalm 68 or 69 still. Don't know. Um, so I don't know. You know, hopefully I can get my life back together by June and start studying again. Um, also, BSF is ending. Actually, it ends this coming week that's coming up. So yeah, I'll probably get back into studying once bsf is over because i'll be able to focus on that um but for bsf we did go through joshua we went through ruth we went through first and second kings first and second samuels if i'm not mistaken i believe don't quote me <laughs> but yeah um so that's pretty much it my eye like this area right here is so itchy but that is it for this video you guys it seems like it's all over the place but let me know what you guys are reading. If you guys are joining in on book club, let me know down below. And if you want to join book club but don't have Facebook, you can still join book club. Um, I do have ebooks available for um, Pearl in the Sand. I, I was confused on the book for a second. I do have ebooks available um, for Pearl in the Sand. So if you are interested, what you can do is send me an email at daughterofincrease at gmail.com. And just for the subject title, you can just say DOI book club. Um, or DOI May Book Club so that I know which book club you're referring to. And in the body of the email, just state that you're interested in joining but you don't have Facebook. I'm going to be posting things on Instagram as well about the book club. So, um, yeah, and the book club is pretty much, I'm, like I said, I'm doing it every, you know, every week is going to be three chapters of reading. But you do read at your own pace. If you want to read ahead of time, that's fine. If you want to slow down on your reading, that's fine. Um, you know, it's really up to you how you want to read. But I figured three chapters a month, a month. Oh my gosh, I figured three chapters a week would work um with how long the book is so that's pretty much it for this video um the next video will most likely be my book haul because i have 
I have surprisingly don't have that many books. Surprisingly, you guys. Um, I actually did just receive a book in the mail. In the middle of me recording this book here. I'm not going to show you guys the cover, but this book here. So I am waiting on one more book that is coming tomorrow. So hopefully when I get ready to actually record the uh, book haul, all of my books will be here. Because I think I have three books that I'm waiting on. One's coming tomorrow and two are fictional books. But they're kind of like Christian fiction romances. So yeah i think that's it for now um yeah oh as far as like bible studies and more journaling videos those are coming soon i am working on an idea that i think i want to do on fridays and i'm also thinking about switching up my scheduling so i think tuesdays and thursdays i will keep but then i'll probably add on saturdays for like specifically doing book reviews um because i don't want to do too many book reviews and have it kind of overshadow the other content that i really want to do because i really have i want to start doing burst mapping i do want to start doing some more journal with me and bible study with me videos um so yeah i'm thinking about adding on saturdays just for doing book reviews so like if i have a book review that i want to put up i can put that up on saturday and still have my tuesday and thursday for other content so we'll see i'm working things out in my head um putting it all on paper and trying to have everything planned out so um yeah that's pretty much it for this video I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.